Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can record your screen while having your camera in the bottom right corner, just like you've seen in probably a lot of videos. For example, just like this. Now I'm in the bottom right corner. You guys can literally move that wherever you want, but you can record your screen at the same time while commenting on you know whatever you're doing. So yeah, this is a very easy and free way to do this. I've been doing this for years now. And it's definitely the easiest way to do it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to download OBS Studio. This is a really great and free program that works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. So you're going to come here to obsproject.com. I'll put the link in the description down below and you'll come here and select whichever OS you are on. So since I'm on Mac, I'll click on this. It's going to download it and from there on, you'll just install the program like normal. So you've downloaded OBS and you have it set up on your computer. It's going to look something like this. Now you won't be able to see anything here since uh, none of these scenes or sources are set up. This should all be blank but it's pretty easy to set this all up so the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to come to uh, here and you're gonna click the plus sign we're gonna create a new scene and this is basically where you're going to be able to show your desktop right so let's name it desktop plus camera we'll click OK right here and we'll have a new scene created. So if you guys look here, you'll see that there are no sources in the scene yet. So what we're gonna want to do is we'll come here to the plus button and we'll click on that. From here, you're going to want to select display capture. This is going to be what you choose if you want to you know, record your computer screen. So I'll click on this. We'll name it display capture test. Uh, I already have one since I've done this already, but I'll create a new one and show you guys. I'll click OK right here. From there, it's going to open up this properties page. And sorry for the background. It's going to look a little bit weird. Um, but actually, let me just make this bigger so you guys can see a little bit better. Here, I'm going to have the option of choosing which display to show. So you'll come down here. I only have one screen connected to my computer, so it's just going to be the default one. But if you guys have multiple screens, you can choose whichever one you want to record. So I'll set this as that for now. Do I want to do a crop? I'll select none for now because we can actually do that crop later. So I'm going to click OK. And right now, you'll see that I have a really wide screen. So so I'm going to actually, it's going to default to something like this. And yours is going to look a little bit different depending on what type of screen you're using. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to actually drag this, right? So you're going to drag it so that it fills whichever part of the screen you want to record. So I'm going to drag this to there. This is going to be a little bit different depending on, uh, you know, what ratio or screen aspect ratio you are currently on. But basically that is going to create this and this is going to be what's shown. If you can sort of imagine this box is what you're going to be recording. So that to me looks pretty good. And you'll see that if I open up, let's say Chrome, Basically, what's being recorded is from here to here. So you're going to want to maybe like set maybe like a sticky note or something. Or if you're on a normal computer like this, it's going to be a little bit easier since it's not as wide. Um, but for now, this is the part of the screen that's being recorded. Uh, I'll actually show you guys what that looks like over here. OK, so over here, you can see that is what it's looking like if I'm not bring it over to this active part, All right? So pretty cool. Now that we have the uh, desktop being captured in these sources, we're gonna want to actually add a couple more things. So you're gonna come here to the plus again, and you're gonna go to audio input capture. So of course, if you're you know commenting while showing your desktop, you need to have some type of audio stream, right? So you're gonna want to record yourself with a microphone, uh, and that's why we need to add in this microphone source. Uh, into this section right here. So I'm gonna name this uh, mic test, whatever. Cool, click OK. It's gonna allow me to select the device for the microphone. All of my recordings are recorded directly onto my Scarlett Focusrite. This is a little bit more advanced. It's like a audio recording box. If you guys don't have that, you'll just click your internal microphone or your USB microphone. That's going to show up right here. So I'll click OK. Now you can see that that microphone is here in the sources under this scene. So the microphone is capturing audio, as you can see from the lights right here. So now we have the desktop recording, we have the microphone recording, and then the thing we want to do that you guys are probably you know here for is how do you get that camera of yourself over here? So let me actually show you guys what my camera looks like. So I have my camera here. Uh, this is a DSLR uh, Sony camera that's 
connected via a cam link 4k directly to my computer um, that's gonna be a little bit more complex for most people uh, for most of you guys you'll probably just be using a webcam yeah that makes it a lot easier but let me show you guys uh, how to do that so you're gonna make sure that your scene is uh, selected so we're doing the desktop plus camera scene and we're gonna come here to plus and we're going to come here to video capture device we're gonna name it so we'll just name it a uh, camera test okay and you're going to select the device for the camera it's gonna depend on what you guys are recording with if you have a webcam it's probably gonna say like webcam or built-in camera uh, so just select whichever one it is since I'm using the cam link connected directly to my digital SLR camera I'm gonna click on that but you guys choose whichever one you want and you're going to come here to presets choose the resolution that your project is in I'm recording all this at 4k so I'm gonna click this one and then you're going to click okay so right now you'll see that in the scene we have the camera we have the mic and we have the desktop being recorded right of course we can't see the display or the screen right now because the camera is on top of it if we were to actually change the order it would change to the screen but we want to have both right move that back here here is where we're going to do the whole circle thing so you'll select your camera uh, and you're going to actually right click and go to filters from here you're going to come to effect filters and you're going to click plus you're going to come down here to image mask slash blend click on that and we'll just call it round round camera okay click okay cool so now we have these settings over here uh, you're going to come here to type and you're going to click alpha mask parentheses alpha channel and here is where you're going to actually upload this little circle png thing that i'm going to link in the description so if i come to my finder i already have this you guys are going to just download this uh, save it to some folder on your computer that you're not going to delete you can see that i have it in uh under movies under obs filters and you guys are just going to download this using that link I put I'm gonna come here to browse I'm gonna search that thing up so webcam circle I think okay right here I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna click open bam somehow it's gonna like crop it don't ask me how it works <laughs> just how it works and then all the stuff you're going to leave as is and then you're going to click close so bam now we have this like round camera thing right obviously this is too big so what you're gonna want to do is come up here and drag and you guys can choose exactly how big or small you want it to be. You can choose where you want your camera to be, uh, up here, up there. Most people, it's gonna be down here. And of course, you guys, if you don't want this round circle thing, uh, you can just leave it, uh, and it's gonna be in that normal you know, video resolution and aspect ratio. But I think the circle looks better. This is how I record all my videos. And then you can select the exact size. I like to put it down here in the corner where it's not exactly touching the edges, but just above it and to the left of it so like that bam so now that we have our whole scene set up if you want to actually record you're going to come here and click start recording and that's going to begin recording and it's going to save uh somewhere on your computer if you want to play around with all the settings you guys can uh, come here and click settings i'll go through this again but i've done this in my other videos too come to video you'll set your resolution set all these things to what i have you'll come here to output you can change the streaming quality for recording you'll come here and click on that tab you want to go to the advanced output mode i like to set the recording path to an external uh, ssd drive that i have uh, with a folder called obs on it i like to record in mp4 format but of course you can also do like mov or flv for the encoder it's going to depend on what computer you have but for me i'm doing uh, i'm doing this on a m1 or m2 mac so i can actually use the hard hardware encoder apple vt i definitely recommend doing that if you don't have that use x264 or if you have an nvidia graphics card use the nvenc i believe that's what it's called set the bit rate at whatever you want um, i want really really high quality 4k uh, footage so i set mine at 60,000, which is very very high it takes up a lot of space but you should be fine with like 20 30 000, and even lower if you're doing like 1080p you'll click apply and then uh click ok but yeah, after uh messing around with all the settings you guys can just uh click start recording or start streaming and that's basically how you record your desktop with your camera in the bottom right corner and that's going to begin recording and it's going to save uh somewhere on your computer okay so now i have um this recording uh through obs this is probably what you guys are looking to do and i also have my phone here to show you guys what it's looking like on my end from my point of view so basically i have obs studios here on the right 
Uh, if you have a smaller screen, you're actually just gonna minimize it. Uh, and then I have the portion of the screen that I'm recording right here. And you can see here, this is what it's going to look like. And you know, I can switch uh, to the actual OBS recording and you can see it's looking good. Um, but yeah, now I can basically do whatever I want right here. I can say things, I can look at the camera. I'm gonna be in the bottom right corner. And that is how you record your screen while showing yourself on your camera at the same exact time. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. Figuring this out took me a while, but this for me, I found was the easiest uh, and free way to you know, be able to record your screen while having your, your image in the bottom right or wherever you want it. So yeah, feel free to reference this video whenever you need and set this up exactly like how I've done it. Again, I'm gonna put that download to that circle PNG in the description below. So you guys can just download that, uh, save it to a folder on your computer and upload it to the filters just like I showed you guys in the video. And yeah, feel free to play around with it. You can change the size of your own video. You can you know, change what part of your uh, computer screen you're recording. It's all customizable and you guys can play around with OBS. Once you get the hang of it, it's really easy to use and it's really an awesome software that, you know, of course is free, which is amazing. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, uh, make sure to hit that like button. Every like really helps the video. And also if you want to subscribe, that'd be amazing because we create a ton of how-to videos just like this and guides on you know helping entrepreneurs and startups be able to do a bunch of different things. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.